Every once in a while, a country decides to build something so massive, so ambitious, that the rest of the world has no choice but to stop and stare. In the past few years, China has launched a wave of mega projects that push the limits of engineering itself. These aren't ordinary projects or routine infrastructure upgrades. These are projects that rewrite coastlines, carve directly through mountains, reshape rivers, and stretch across canyons that once seemed impossible to cross. We're talking about construction zones appearing where there was once only only open sea, new shipping routes being dug straight through solid earth, dams rising in the deepest valleys of the Himalayas, and bridges suspended so high above the ground they seem to float in the clouds. These megastructures all have one thing in common. China isn't just building for today, it's building for the next century. In this video, we're taking a journey through five of the most jaw-dropping mega projects currently reshaping China. Projects so large they're studied by engineers worldwide, watched closely by governments, and leave even experts asking, how is that even possible? Our first stop is the northeastern city of Dalian, where China is constructing one of the largest artificial island airports on the planet. Imagine this, an entire airport, runways, terminals, highways, built out in the sea on land that didn't exist a few years ago. This mega project spans 20 square kilometers, making it larger than many small cities. Once completed, the airport will have four runways and a futuristic terminal close to 900,000 square meters in size. In its first phase alone, it's designed to handle over four 40 million passengers a year, with long-term plans pushing that number to 80 million. But why build an airport offshore? Dalian's current airport is boxed in by the city. There's no room left to grow. At the same time, Dalian is a major trade gateway near Korea and Japan. The city needs a massive new hub to keep up with demand. So instead of expanding inland, China decided to expand outward, into the ocean. The new airport will connect air, sea, rail, and land transport in one giant hub. And it marks another moment where China creates land first and builds the infrastructure second. Next, we travel south to a mega project that is literally reshaping the geography of southern China, the Pinglu Canal. This is a completely new waterway, carved from scratch stretching more than 130 kilometers. And it's designed so massive that 5,000 ton cargo ships can sail through it with ease. This canal gives China's inland provinces something they've never truly had before, a direct highway to the sea. Right now, cargo from the southwest must travel long, winding routes to reach coastal ports. The Pinglu Canal changes everything. It creates a straight, efficient, and high-capacity link between inland industries and global shipping lanes. To build this canal, engineers are cutting directly through hills, valleys, and solid rock. The excavation volume is enormous, one of the largest in China's recent history. And it's not just about shipping. The canal the canal is designed to support water management, irrigation, flood control, and ecological restoration. This is infrastructure, environmental engineering, and economic strategy all rolled into one. When complete, the Pinglu Canal will unlock a new maritime gateway and reshape how goods move across southern China. Now we climb to the roof of the world, the Himalayas. Here in one of the most remote and dramatic landscapes on Earth, China is building what could become the most powerful hydroelectric station ever constructed, Midog Hydropower Station. This dam is planned to generate 60 gigawatts of electricity. Let that sink in for a moment. That's roughly three times the output of the Three Gorges Dam. To achieve this, the project will tap into the Yarlung Sungpo River, known as the Brahmaputra further downstream, as it drops through one of the deepest gorges on the planet. The natural elevation difference creates staggering energy potential. Construction costs are estimated at over 1 trillion yuan, or around $135 billion. And the project is expected to take nearly a decade to complete. Why build something this massive here? Because few places on Earth offer this much raw hydrogen hydropower potential. If completed, Maydog will deliver clean electricity to millions, accelerate development in Tibet, and strengthen China's renewable energy capacity. But it's also a highly controversial project. Environmental risks, seismic concerns, and its impact on downstream countries like India and Bangladesh make this one of the most geopolitically sensitive mega-projects in existence. Still, if finished, it could become the world's most powerful dam a staggering achievement of engineering in one of the most challenging environments on Earth. 
Before we move on, there's another mega project that stands on a completely different scale. Not a single structure, but an entire national system. A project so vast that it's often called the most ambitious water engineering effort in human history. This is China's South North Water Transfer Project. For decades, Northern China, home to Beijing, Tianjin, and major industrial centers, has faced chronic water shortages. Meanwhile, the South holds some of the world's richest freshwater resources. So, China made a bold decision. If water can't naturally flow north, they would create a way to move it themselves. The project is built around three colossal routes, the Eastern Route, the Central Route, and the planned Western Route, each designed to divert huge volumes of water from the Yangtze River system to the thirsty north. The Central Route alone stretches more than 1,400 kilometers, delivering clean water from the Danjiangku Reservoir all the way to Beijing. It's a journey so long that water takes several days to travel the full distance. The Eastern Route follows upgraded historic canals, mixing ancient engineering with modern pumping technology to push water across provinces. And the future western route, still in development, would cross rugged mountain terrain to supply the arid northwest. To understand the scale of this undertaking, consider the timeline. Construction on the first routes began in the early 2000s, with the eastern route launched in 2002 and the central route in 2003. Over a decade of non-stop work led to the first major water deliveries in 2013 and 2014. And the price tag? This mega project has already cost nearly 70 billion US dollars, making it one of the most expensive infrastructure systems ever built. Entire pumping stations, tunnels, reservoirs, and even city networks had to be rebuilt or relocated just to make it possible. So far, this massive system has delivered tens of billions of cubic meters of water to northern regions, improving drinking supplies, reviving ecosystems, reducing groundwater depletion, and stabilizing entire cities that once struggled with scarcity. This isn't just a mega project. It's a continental scale lifeline, a national solution to a national challenge. Our final mega project brings us to Guizhou Province, a region famous for deep gorges and dramatic cliffs. It's here that China has built the highest bridge on the planet, the Huajiang Grand Canyon Bridge. This record-breaking structure is nearly three kilometers long. Its main span stretches 1,420 meters, but its most jaw-dropping feature is the height. The bridge deck sits 625 meters above the river below. That's taller than many skyscrapers. Crossing this bridge feels like flying. Construction began in 2022, and the bridge officially opened in 2025. Before it existed, crossing the canyon meant a long, winding two-hour journey. Now the trip takes just two minutes. Engineers tested the bridge using 96 loaded trucks, placed on the deck for days to simulate maximum stress. Advanced sensors measured every vibration and movement. But this bridge isn't just a transportation lifeline, it's also an adventure destination. The design includes a glass walkway beneath the deck for extreme views, a glass elevator inside one of the towers leading to a scenic cafe, and dedicated zones for bungee jumping, paragliding, and tourism. It's part engineering marvel, part tourist hotspot, and a symbol of China's push to connect even its most rugged landscapes. From creating new land out at sea, to carving massive water routes across entire provinces, to building record-shattering bridges and super dams in the most extreme terrain on Earth. China's newest mega projects show a level of ambition that is transforming the landscape itself. Each of these projects represents more than construction, it represents a long-term vision of connectivity, energy, and national development on a scale few countries have ever attempted. Whether you admire the ambition or worry about the consequences, there's no denying one thing. These mega projects are changing the world. If you enjoyed this deep dive, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and tell me in the comments which of these mega projects impressed you the most. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.